Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Welcome to another adventure of Tales from the Trip. Uh, this one's a little bit different here. This one is kind of a, what you might call a, a retro or throwback. Um, so a little backstory here. Um, you know, I started out the channel doing just mostly video overviews kind of as a customer. It's not really entertainment, just kind of a customer service or, or if you're you know, interested in a car and kind of like to see uh, some of the cool cars that we get. Um, but then I had a lot of uh, requests, a lot of people, you know, asking about, hey, I'd sure love to know the backstory and, you know, what the history or how did you find this car? Where did you find this car? That sort of stuff. So I started actually uh, video documenting some of our trips um, actually a couple years ago. And, uh, and so I recorded them, but, you know, I never really put them out because I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. I didn't know if I was going to get some help, um, you know, and, and make it more of a kind of like a production. But I just decided, you know, I'm just going to keep it simple, just like me in the channel, just kind of raw and, and just kind of, uh, you know, uh, just, you know, from the hip or whatever. And I started putting out uh, videos that way. And so I've got, you know, we've got some really, really amazing stories and, uh, and some of our most incredible purchases ever. One of them is still the most incredible purchase that I'll bring you in another episode. Uh, but this one here is kind of special. This one uh, was uh, uh, me and my wife, Becky, Miss Euro Asian Becky. Uh, we went down to Houston, Texas, uh, Barrett Jackson, and uh, went down there to sell our uh, Bentley, Bentley Arnage uh, Turbo. And, uh, and then there was also a couple of cars on the docket that we were kind of had our eye on and potentially purchasing. And uh, one of these cars uh, was a 72 uh, Opel GT. Uh, interesting backstory is that was my wife's first car in high school. She went and purchased a 73 Opel GT. She found it and I think she paid like 1100 bucks for it or something like that. And, uh, and she worked at Pizza Hut making pizzas to get a loan to pay for this car. So uh, it's really neat. Uh, I have my... Um, first high school car, a, a 79 Mercury Capri RS, and I have a version of that car. Uh, it's on our uh, website, and, and we did a video on it also. Uh, but we, uh, so we went out searching for Becky's first high school car, and uh, you know, we weren't really looking for the same color or anything, but, um, but we found this car, and uh, we were like, you know, it's kind of hopeful, you know, we just seen pictures of it, and like, hey, is this car legit? Uh, is it, uh, you know, it, hopefully, hopefully we were hoping that it was a good car. So, you know, we're going to bring you this story and kind of, you know, start off, uh, at Barrett Jackson. So this happened a while back already, but I wanted to bring you the story cause it's really interesting. So check this out. So here's our Bentley Arnage Turbo. This thing was an amazing color combination. We love this car. Um, but to be honest with you, it was a little bit of afraid of uh, potential repairs. It was running and driving great, but we decided to sell it and free up some money for some other cars. And then here is the 72 Opel GT. And uh, we ended up buying the car. It turned out to be better than we could have ever dreamed. It was a, one family from new. The guy was 16 years old when his dad bought the car. All original 30,000 mile survivor, probably best one in the country. And then this 87 Ford Thunderbird turbo coupe stick with 40,000 miles, another childhood uh, dream car of mine. And uh, so we bought that too. I drove the Thunderbird home and, uh, and then we hauled uh, the Opal. And so had a great time with that trip and the whole experience was awesome. And uh, we've had a lot of fun with the Opal. Um, here it is where we uh, unloaded at the house and when it had its white wall tires on it still, we changed those out and had fun taking it to cars and coffee and, uh, and just enjoying the car. So uh, I'll go ahead and lead this into the actual event as it happened. Well, looks like uh, Becky and I both uh, came away with a little something here today. Becky, tell us about this car. <laughs> what do we got? You tell me, you know this car. Why do you know this car, Becky? Because it was my very first car in high school that I worked in the Pizza Hut to help pay for, to pay for it, yeah. And what happened to that car? You got rear-ended in it. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, though. It totally. I know, but it, I did wreck it, but it wasn't my fault, right? Correct. Correct, but yeah, we've been looking for a replacement for years, so yeah. congrats, honey. Yeah. Let's look around it. This is a one owner, 30,000 mile, all original Survivor 71 GT. Absolutely. I mean, this potentially could be probably one of the best surviving GTs left. And it's Becky's. 
Yay! What a beautiful little car. We'll go look inside of it. Look at that. I love that front end, man. Isn't that cool? I mean, they called this the little baby Corvette, but I mean, it really, in a lot of ways, I mean, this is, this looks better than a C3 Corvette. Open it up inside here. 30,000 miles. Congrats, honey. Love it. Love it? Well, it looks like we're, we came here with a Bentley on a trailer, and so we have an empty trailer, so it looks like we're driving one and hauling one back to Kansas. Here's the line, there's Becky's truck, Pepe. But here is the 88 Turbo Coupe and the 71 Opal GT. Well, Becky, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it's a time warp. This was 30, how many years ago? Since oh my, my gosh. One. Look at that, original radio, 30,000 miles. Holy moly. Like a little top. Yeah, this is a maiden oh. voyage, that's reverse. <laughs> See, it's been 30 years. There we go. Here it goes. Maiden voyage in the Opal GT. Oh my gosh. Becky's the first to drive it. Yeah. It's her car. Her little doodle bug. That's what she called her car. That was the nickname, no doodle fire bug. Steering. No fire steering. No fire steering. No AC, right? No, I remember sweating and sweating and sweating in that car. <laughs> <laughs> I Goodness. must have wanted it pretty bad because. Yeah. But you just, I remember you messaging me back, Becky, and well, you were like, I "This, I found this car and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I found it. You found it. I don't even you remember. You found the car. It was in Hillsboro and you told me about it. And I was like, and literally, I was like, what is that? I didn't even know what it was, Becky. Uh, and you're see, like, I, I you're like, I that. found this car. You know, I want to buy this car. It's so cute. And I'm like, I know nothing about that car. <laughs> and uh, how much you pay for that car, Becky? I think 19. 1900 think, yeah so we've had to add a couple of zeros to reclaim your car yeah <laughs> but we are in it Very so cool. it's such a neat little car hey becky do you remember how to operate the headlights mm -hmm. remember how to operate the headlights here, here. no that's the wipers there oh headlights the okay. headlights yeah, yeah. yeah here we'll operate the headlights yeah. this is the coolest thing boom just a big handle that you push yep yep big lever and they roll yep. over yep about the wipers let's check the wipers right? yeah i guess go ahead and check them oh there we go like a champ just kind of go up here and we'll just take a little little victory lap before we put them on the trailer there we go becky driving the gt i'm not looking at the camera no nope. i don't want somebody to pull out 10 and 2 it 10 and 2 be, uh, yeah, well at least we're in a parking lot right. at least we're in a parking lot wow this thing i mean there's not even a crack in the dash becky I mean, this this potentially could probably be the best surviving Opal GT in the world. Oh man, did it bring anything back? Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. I love love the uh, love the green color. Awesome. Well, congrats, honey. Thanks. Love it. Bye bye. Old doodle bug. Well, that was a successful maiden test drive, Becky. Yeah. Successful test drive. I love the back of this car. It is so freaking cute. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Original exhaust even. Original gas cap. Oh yeah, it's gotta have that gas so cap. So cool. Oh yeah. So cool. All right, we got the GT loaded. GT gets the uh, trailer ride home, and Becky's driving the Turbo Bird. That's gonna be a comfortable ride, isn't it, honey? Uh, we took that thing to dinner last night, loved it. All right, safe travels to us. Well, I hope you enjoyed this flashback uh, Tales from the Trip adventure. It was a lot of fun, uh, Becky and I, you know, going and putting this together and, and, uh, and kind of uh, reminiscing about the, the adventure. It was really, quite an amazing weekend, had so much fun, a lot of excitement, selling a car, buying two cars, and the, Sun the Thunderbird we actually sold uh, right away, and there's actually a overview video on that Thunderbird, it was truly exceptional. And uh, speaking of video overviews, uh, there's a we're gonna be doing a video overview on the Opal. We've had it uh, all this time, and we've never really done a video overview on it, kind of just kind of keeping the car on the down low a little bit, 
you know, because it, it's it's on is on our website, and uh, you know, because I mean, every car when your dealer is kind of technically for sale, even if it's like your baby or your dream car. I mean, there are some cars that uh, that are not on the website that they may that maybe they were on the website, and uh, we decided to keep it and fold it off. Or there's some cars that we never even put on the website. Uh, but stay tuned because we got a special little surprise for you on the Opal GT when we do the overview. So again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, like and subscribe if you would. And that way you can just kind of follow our, our fun cars and adventures. So as always, have a great day and happy motoring.